Welcome to Tea with Lily Bet. I have made a lot of changes since my last video and I'm excited to share some of those with you today. You can probably already notice behind me that there's a lot less clutter in the apartment. The place is looking a lot more settled. One of the major changes that's happened is that I ordered an entertainment unit. I actually wasn't planning to get one straight away. I was prepared to live with the white chest for quite a while, but there's a particular furniture store that I really like that my sister introduced me to, and I'd already bought my bedside table from there. It just so happened that their sale came up in my Facebook feed and I saw this entertainment unit and it was 50% off. They have a showroom here in Melbourne. I went to see it. I just fell in love with it. It had a little bit of a quirky design to it that I really liked. I thought I was gonna need help assembling it and my sister was all lined up to come over after her work finished and help me set it up. But then once I started to get going, I realized I could do it on my own. Oh, it's beautiful. It's stunning. There we go. I thought that the legs would have to be assembled onto it, but it came fully assembled. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. It is larger than what I planned, but it suits the space so well and the quality is so beautiful. I wanted something that was a light oak color to go with the theme that I've been building in my apartment. The thing that was unique about this unit was it had these reversible cupboard doors. So I could have a combination of colors or I could go with the natural wood. It has two drawers, there's a white door and there's a gray door. I tried it with the gray and the white out. It did look really nice. Ultimately, I settled on having one door that was a natural timber color and the other one white. And it goes with the white touches that I have in the apartment. Except for my bed, I don't think I've ever owned such a beautiful piece of furniture before. So I love it. I'm really happy with that purchase. And getting the 50% off was just a huge bonus. I've also made some practical changes in the apartment to make my everyday experience a little bit more convenient and easy. So the place has descended into absolute chaos. I've got the electrician here. These are all his tools. And he is going to install this fan in my bedroom. We've decided against this fan here because it will have a lower profile. It won't be as powerful and it's also aesthetically going to stand out a lot more. So I've decided to go for something much more streamlined and simple, which I'm really happy about. And this fan is more powerful as well. So yeah, I think that was the right choice. So the plan is to install the fan where the light fitting was. So this is the old light. That's the, the bulb there. And this is what was put into the apartment when it was built. Unfortunately, the builders created this gigantic hole when they put in the light fitting, which the electrician has told me was completely unnecessary. And to give you a perspective, this is how big the hole is. It's massive. That's the fire sprinkler. So I'm thinking that the fan is gonna be moved over a little bit so it doesn't hit the fire sprinkler, but the electrician doesn't have any concerns about that. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to pay for a plaster to come in and fix all this stuff. While the electrician was there, I also got him to change the two point power in the laundry to a four point so I could charge my Dyson in there. I also got a plumber out to do a few jobs, one of which was to plumb the drainage for the condenser dryer. And the other thing I did in the bathroom was get a shower filter. I've been wanting to get one for a long time, 
but because I was in a rental and I was just trying to save money to buy my place, I didn't want to spend any extra money on a water filter or getting a plumber out to install it. But I really don't like the smell of the chlorine. I've noticed since using the shower filter that my skin feels a lot softer and my hair as well. It has reduced my water pressure a little bit, but I think it's a compromise that's worth making for the sake of my health. I also got an under sink filter for my kitchen, which was installed by a licensed plumber, but unfortunately it flooded not only part of my apartment, but the apartment below it overnight while I was sleeping. My neighbor was super nice about it and it doesn't look like any permanent damage was done, but I was absolutely mortified that this happened. The next thing that I bought was a TV and sound bar. Now, once again, I wasn't planning to get this right away. I was thinking I would wait a little while and get some of the other things that I wanted to get done around the apartment, but then Black Friday and Cyber Monday happened. Now, I didn't buy anything that was not on my list. It was just that I ended up buying them sooner than I thought I would. So I ended up getting a Panasonic 55 inch smart TV. Now that one, I definitely couldn't install myself. My sister came over and we worked together to install it. The only thing was the siding about the size. I had a 48 inch TV before and I felt like that was an adequate size for me, but the 55 inch was on sale. I got it for a huge discount. It was like 30% off the price. And I also got the sound bar in white. So I pretty much got the exact same setup as my sister. It's got all the apps that I use already installed. So I won't be using my set top box as much as I used to be. And one of the really lovely features about it is that you can display artwork on it. So it looks like it's just a piece of art on your wall when you're not displaying it as a TV. I'd have to tell you the quality of the picture and the sound quality with the sound bar. It's not really about having a high volume because I live in an apartment building and I don't really want to be blasting my TV and annoying my neighbors. It's more about the clarity and quality of the sound. And I've really noticed a difference having a sound bar because I didn't have one before. I did decide to sell the old TV. I got $150 for it, which was a really nice little bonus. And this lovely guy got it and he was super thrilled with it as well. So it all ended up working out perfectly. There's been so much going on that I had to write a list so I don't forget to tell you guys about anything. So today I have been rearranging my bedroom with my sister. It was actually her idea. There she is. <laughs> With something that we've been talking about for a little while, originally she thought that we'd put the dresser here because it would be next to the wardrobe. But we did try that and it was just a little bit too close to the closet and it wasn't that easy to get the clothes out. So it's essentially moved from this corner here over to here. I think it's gonna work quite nicely. It looks really nice with the two lamps now and it's just opened up the whole room and cleared the walkway. Millie seems to like it, don't you, Mill? She didn't like us changing anything. She got a little bit upset and she was doing some meowing, but she's gone to sleep now. Poor Millie's just been a bit sick today. So I think the mirror is going to stay here and it will go on the wall once I can get someone in to install it. And I'll just come around and just show you the bedroom from this angle. Look at the bed now reflected in the mirror. That's just lovely. So this is the walkway. From the lounge room you can see the dresser and the lamp and the bed. I'm seriously considering changing over the dresser to oak wood. That's the direction I've been going with all of my furnishings for the last year or so and I really love the lighter style and the bedroom is a little bit dark anyway so I just feel like going with this light colored wood is just creating a really nice relaxed light breezy vibe in here. Look how much space I have here in front of the wardrobe. The fan of course is up on the ceiling. I've still got this gaping hole but I'll probably have to get a bit of other plastering done, so I'm just holding off for now, and the electrician just put some cardboard in there so dust doesn't come down. Allie had the excellent suggestion of blue tacking some paper over the hole, which I hope will make it look a little bit less obvious until it can be repaired. 
<laughs> it hit me on the face on the way down. Okay, where's it gone? Really, did it land on you? I'm sorry, honey. Ah, there it is. Okay. It's looking way better now. The next task was to hang the artwork. It had been leaning against my bedroom wall since I moved in and was taking space. So not only was it important to clear that clutter, but by hanging it, it would create a sense of home and help me to feel more settled. gentlemen you're seeing a very special and rare thing <laughs> my sister is making up the bed in the exact correct way that start, all humans should make the bed and it's really important that you watch this and learn and I am watching as a student So we worked pretty hard and got everything hung. With some of the paintings, I knew exactly where they were going to go, but with others, we really had to look at it and work out what would suit the space. There is quite a bit of wall space in here, but I didn't want to crowd the place as well with art, and I really just want to keep my favorite pieces and also the pieces that just suited the place. For those of you who commented after my last video that I have too much bed linen, you'll be thrilled to know that I have decluttered one complete set. So now I just have the two sets, one of which is the pink rose watercolor that I have on the bed at the moment, and the other is the green and white set. How are you doing today, love? Hmm? Having a big stretch. And off she goes. The other big change is the chairs on the balcony. 
My sister prompted me to do this and I made the call to move a couple of the chairs that are in the dining room and bring them out here. The other chairs had a lower profile that were out here. They were quite rusted and old. So they're just gonna be given away, they're gonna be donated. But the great thing about using these chairs is that I can clear space in the dining area. And it's not so crammed in there. This is a short term fix, I think, unless I really grow to like this. But if I have people over, I can easily just bring the chairs in. Having less chairs has actually opened up the space quite a lot. So that's it from me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the updates and changes that I've made in the apartment so far. If you enjoyed this video, you'd be helping me out a lot if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would love to welcome you to this channel. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.